gang, welcome. We are going to build a boat. This is the Teacher Geek Build a Boat Pack. So make sure that you have the instructions from Teacher Geek. If they didn't come in the pack, go to teachergeek.com and download them from the Build a Boat page. First thing you always want to do is check to make sure you have all the parts because there might be some extra things you need to also grab. There are simple things at home. Let's go down the list. We need a couple of blocks. We need three of these black strips. We need four screws and four nuts. We need 10 project sticks. I only grabbed a few because I know I only need three of those actually for my first trial. I need a mini hub and a mini hub cover. That's to hold the propellers and the project sticks are to mount the propellers on and a mini hub screw to screw the these two together some zip ties a motor a motor mount battery holder this will hold two double a batteries so you will need to also get two double a batteries now the packing list says that there should be some chipboard the packing list and some of the instructions now they've revised their instructions to not have chipboard so you're gonna have to get some cardboard and it could be food box cardboard or corrugated cardboard any kind of cardboard we're gonna make propellers out of this now part of the experimenting with this is to try some different materials for propellers in different shapes so you don't have to start with cardboard if you don't want to and finally some dolls so I'm gonna move these parts out of the way and talk about tools because we do need some tools you're going to need a phillips screwdriver you're going to need a multi-cutter to cut the dial rods and the black plastic strips the reamer comes in as a tool kit that we have a small hammer some pliers and this block which helps you as support for when you're trying to pound something in other things that you're going to want scissors, a ruler, pencil, and some tape. Whichever kind of tape you like working with, whichever kind of tape you think is going to hold well. So let me move these out of my way. You'll also want to have a nice space to work in, free of clutter. And if you're working on like a kitchen or a dining room table, you might want to put a cloth down or a pillowcase or some, some newspaper uh, to keep it clean and keep all your stuff in one spot. Other things you're going to need. Now this is where the recycle bin comes in handy or a trip to the dollar store. You're gonna need things that float because these materials that we had over there, they just build like a skeleton to mount the propeller. Then you're gonna need some floating stuff to actually make the boat. So I grabbed a couple of small pop bottles out of the bin so you think water bottles or juice bottles something's gonna float I mean you empty juice box I also grabbed a ketchup bottle out of the recycling container uh, because it's different plastic I had to I had thrown the plastic that the top away already so I taped it with some duct tape I also ran to the dollar store to try to look for something and I found these styrofoam um, finger rockets and they should float well. I also picked up a couple of a pair of dollar uh, flip flops because I think flip flops float okay. I was really looking for a pool noodle because those float awesome. And for a dollar for a big pool noodle, those are a great material to use. Well, let's get started here. Again, you're going to need ruler, pencil, and cutter. Step one talks about. Um, cutting two 7.5 centimeter dowels halfway through a block and putting it halfway through a block. So we need our measuring device and you can use 7.5 centimeters or three inches about there. Have them be the same whichever you're doing inches or metric but I put mine on here and then I mark now I'm not going to mark seven and a half and then fifteen because my cutting sometimes doesn't always come out exactly on the line. So I want to mark one, cut it, 
be careful with this cutter you don't get your finger in there because it will do some damage I'm holding around there so my pieces don't fly and then I'm marking seven and a half again and I can trim them up at the end if I feel the need to to get them the same I go two pieces pretty darn close now they're gonna go into this block and this is where this block comes in handy that I can set it on here and get my little hammer and I can tap them in I probably should have marked halfway We'll go with it. Now here's a th okay. Here's the thing. Now that I got one in, this one doesn't you know sit real perfectly nicely for me to tap it in. See it's gonna run into the wood, so I kind of gotta put it on an angle. But I still got support where I'm trying to tap. Yep, a little too far. Now I need to take, the next step is to take this long strip and cut it in half. Now you could measure it. It is actually 12 inches, so I would have to cut it at 6. Or you could count the holes. And somehow keeping things so they don't go flying all over the place. Step 3 wants us to put that together by wiggling these in. Now, how to get these to go through, because it's got knobs in there, nubs, you kind of got to wiggle a little and then maybe tap. And then get the other one on in the same place preferably so this is going to be like our skeleton to mount our motor now I need another piece of dowel rod they want this to be about 10 centimeters or 4 inches this is going to go here and it's going to be where the fan the fan the prop goes so again, that's another variable you could play with, is how high that goes. Now that matters because of the length of the propellers. So now I need to tap that into there. And don't, don't tap onto um, your nice kitchen table, dining room table coffee table and table. That's what that block is for. If we don't have this block, get, find a block of scrap wood somewhere. We are almost ready to mount the motor. We've got another block that we're going to put onto here. Put on the top. Now this can go this direction or we could turn it and go here. You'll see why in a minute. And now we're going to play with the motor. First thing I like to see is that you actually just hook up the motor and feel what it does. So let's get some batteries in here. This is a nice battery pack because this is actually a switch right here. Make sure you put the batteries in the right way. Does it matter? Well, that's always a question. It's an experiment. There's a black wire and a red wire. There are these two little copper places. The, red, the wires go there. Again, this is an experiment. Does it matter which one gets red and which one get, gets black? Now, let's just hold it and turn it on. You need to feel what that motor's going to do before you mount it on anything. So I just like to have you do that first. And then go ahead and try switching the wires and see what happens. need 
need to screw this on to here. So luckily we have some screws. Now, this is what the screwdriver is for. Now you might be, you should be able to get them started by your by finger, and can get probably most of the way through. But there's a reason they make screwdrivers is because it's easier. They make the work easier for us. And then on the other side, you're going to want to put a nut. I haven't come through far enough yet to get the nut on. So let's get here farther. And then let's start the nut by hand. And then now you've got to kind of hold the nut with your finger so it doesn't spin. If your finger isn't strong enough to do that, that's why you have a pair of pliers. But you might need a third hand, someone to hold that while you hold this and the screwdriver. So there is the motor for our propeller. Now, I said this can turn because it depends on how you're going to build your boat. If your boat's going to go this direction, we're good. But if your boat's going to go this direction, we're going to have to turn that. So, it doesn't matter which way you want to do it. It all depends on how, you're going to, how you can hook a, a floating thing onto this now. This is our skeleton for our motor, for our fan. Now you're going to have to work on getting propellers on here and then some floating stuff on here. That's in the next step.